Jehovah aliniambia anataka kutuingiza kila mtu kwa majira yake season. Semeni season. Season Mungu ambaye tunamtumikia. Ana kitu kinaitwa appointed vision, appointed seasons. Kuna wakati Mungu alisema anataka kupatia Israeli majira yao aliyowachagulia. Siku hizi watu wanaishi hujui utapata pesa lini, hujui kama mvua itanyesha, hujui kama utavuna, hujui kama watu watasoma. Si ni kweli wapendwa? Hujui. In fact, in fact, my brother harakisha tu. In fact, wale mna watoto wachanga. Naona pale pale. If today you are asked who mtoto mezaa? Nena majira seasons zake. Appointed seasons. Brother keti hapa. Hapa nafinya wa mama. Balikiwa. Bwana asifiwe. Hata wale wako na wasichana. Naona mama just uhakika wa kusema nina uhakika mtoto wangu atapita nina uhakika mtoto wangu ataenda ngambo nina uhakika mtoto wangu ata university nina uhakika mtoto wangu atafanya arusi nina uhakika watoto wangu do you know tumechanganywa sana na tumeishi maisha ambao appointed seasons are not clear can you imagine right now the way things are? It's very hard Kenya kusema vua itaisha 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 lini. Department ya meteorological department wanaanza kutoa threat. Unapata wakipima wanaona kama mvua iko bali ikija wanasema haitaka. Wameanza sasa miji iliyokuwa imejengwa karibu na bahari. Already bahari imeanza kupanda. That's why watu kama da, Tanzania, Dar es Salaam walitoka wakaenda Dodoma. Wale wako Lagos walitoka wakaenda Abuja. Ukiendo napata wacha naifasha. Nimeenda kutembea mkahawa wa rafiki yangu a bad big hotel or maji maji meingia wanasema baridi like no baridi about likuwa na July this time hiyo dio baridi hiyo haikuwa ya kawaida and they are saying kuna uwezekano ile baridi inakuaga ulaya ije hapa na kule kuanza kuwa na joto Now there is a problem equally ikifika mambo ya pesa Leo the other day tulikuwa tunataka kutuma pesa mtu atume pesa kwa hii project yetu Serikali inamwambia hairuhusu pesa itoke Leo tunataka kutuma dollars kutoka hapa utume Uganda au South Africa Utawabu, no, no, no. Mambo ambao hayeleweki. Ukiulizwa, are you sure mume wako una matumaini kukaa naye mpaka kifo kiwateganishe vile mli hapa? Watu wengi hawana uhakika. No, this is a problem. Kitu kimoja and, and, and is it very important sasa Jehova atafutwe. Jehova aitwe. Na tuingie ndani yake sasa atupatie majira yake. His pattern his pattern of season. Bwana Yesu ainue sana. Bwana Yesu ainuliwe. Sasa ukiangalia I want to give you some tumeona hii topic katika ibada ya kwanza na ya pili na ya tatu. Let's go to part 3. Part 3. 
wakati wa wote bwana anapeana majira atakupatia kitu kinaitwa point of breakthrough sema point of breakthrough ni wapi ni wapi nitajua sasa murago umefunguka ni wapi nitajua sasa nafasi ndio hii ni wapi nitajua sasa wakati ni huu point of breakthrough ni kitu ambacho kinatendeka alafu kinaanza kufuatana kikiwa na nguvu kikiwa kinahuishwa kikiwa kinakujenga mpako najua na hii ndio majira bwana ameniwekea why do we need to pray Jia moja shetani ana control dunia naye ni confusion Satan uses three things deception confusion and fear nirudia tena Satan uses three things deception hello praise god confusion na pia uoga fear na hizo vitu zbiri sio vitu ambao unaweza fikiria ni pepo unaziita conditions unapata wewe umeokoka you are speaking in tongues lakini unauoga kwako hausemi ni pepo unasema ni hali whereas behind ule uoga satan is there unachukua loan milioni moja uanze biashara ina pigwa na uongo hapa hujaelewa badala ya kuelewa is the devil behind it unasema ni hali ya maisha na mimi nawaambia we need to come up na tuwe watu ambao anything ambao hayabatani na mapenzi ya baba yetu tuseme shetani uongo ni wako na tutaki uongo semeni amen haleluya ukiangalia kitabu cha Exodus 14 verse 21 Exodus 14 aya ya 21 Tufugue hapo haraka ndio tuweze kuendelea Exodus Exodus 14 verse 21 Biblia inasema hivi Musa akanyosha mkono wake juu ya bahari Bwana akaifanya bahari irudi nyuma kwa upepo wa nguvu utokao mashariki usiku kucha akaifanya bahari kuwa inchi kavu maji yakagawanyikana Wana wa Israeli wakaenda dani kati ya bahari katika inchi kavu nayo maji yaliyokuwa ukuta kwao mkono wa kuome na mkono wa kushoto Jesus is Lord Jesus Christ is Lord Seven point of breakthrough Seven so point of breakthrough Niko hapa kukuambia kitu kitafanyika Bahari ya Shamu ilikuwa bele ya Israeli Na Bwana akaonyesha kabisa jia ya kwenda Canaan inapitia kwa hiyo bahari Mungu hakupeana jia ingine na wakati ilikuwa mbele na nyuma kuna jeshi la falau badala ya Jehova kusema watorokea wapi aliambia Musa ambia hao watu wasonge mbele haleluya haleluya waambie wasonge mbele kuna mambo hujui kutakuwaaje lakini hapo ndio jia imepitia but i want to tell the truth in the name of Jesus Christ according to Romans 8:28 mambo yote hufanya kazi pamoja yalete wema kwa wale ambao wanampenda Mungu na wameitwa kwa kusudi lake as long as umeitwa kwa kusudi lake utakapofika kwa bahari even if you don't know what to do god will tell you what to do waweza kuwa hujui mambo beleni bwana achague tu kunenea ufikapo baharini yaweza kuwa kile mungu atafanya 
hakijawahi tedeka anywhere hata kwa leko na kuna yaweza kuwa wewe ndio wa kwanza kutedewa muujiza wa aina hiyo may god give you breakthrough at your at the red sea yako hey hey unajabu likobera yako kubwa sana you don't know what to do ina mkono wako tuju you don't know what to do father in the name of jesus hata israeli hawakujua what to do bahari ya shamu ilikuwa bere yao haukuwa umewambia what to do lakini walipokaribia bahari ulisema what to do and now in the name of jesus halama saposota my god naomba ujasiri wa hao watu udumu wasiraramike wasipoteze nguvu wasiwe waoga tena kwa maana unawaamuru wasonge mbele wafikapo katika hiyo bahari utawaambia what to do na laani uoga na laani mawazo yaliyosubuka receive the peace of god na usonge mbele mahali Mungu amekuamuru for the lord is saying pale mbele god you give you point of breakthrough receive it in jesus name say my amen say my amen point of breakthrough point of breakthrough hallelujah ukienda bere hiyo kitabu exodus 17 17 i hope uko hapo mhm hapa sasa kuna issue ya vita ilikuwa imetokea na hakujulikani kutakuwaje verse 8 wakati huo wa maleki wakatokea kupigana na Israeli huko Refidim nataka ujue Israeli hawakuwa wamepigana vita ingine this was the first war Jesus 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 Hawakuwa wamepigana in the other battle this was the first one Na kumetokea Amalekites ambao wanajua vita kuliko Israeli kwa sababu wamejipanga wamejihami Israeli wametoka tu Misri Jesus God will not only give you point of breakthrough you give you formula I say this is the formula Amen. Jesus Christ Musa aliangalia hao watu hawajapigana ndio mara ya kwanza lakini Mungu akampa Musa muongozo Musa akaambia Joshua tuchagulie watu ukatoke upigane na Amaleki kesho nami nisimame juu ya kilele kile na ile fimbo ya Mungu nitakuwa nayo mikononi mwangu basi Yosua akafanya kama Musa alivyomwambia akapigana Amaleki na Musa na Alun na Huli wakapada juu ya kile kilima na ikawa Musa alipoinua mkono wake Israeli walishida na alipo ushusha mkono wake amaleki walishida na wakamaana mkono wa Musa ulikuwa mzito kwa kuchoka haro na huli wakaushikilia i say god revealed the formula hata kama hawakuwa najua vita sana the formula was kwa mikono ya Musa Musa weka mikono juu hata kama hawajui vita sana as long as mikono yako iko juu fimbo iko juu wana shida Amerika mpaka malize in just name ina mkono tena hiyo vita ambayo napitia na majirani hiyo vita ambayo napitia kazini hiyo vita ambayo imetokea na hujawahi kuwa na ingine kama hiyo usiogope i declare by the mouth of god God atakupa formula. Mungu ako na formula. Mungu ako na njia yake na utajua hakika 
ni Mungu amesababisha ufauru receive that anointing and favor amen sibamen sasa ni